Hi, my name is Kate and I'm here with a What Are the Cezanne Archives video. I got a couple of things from the Cezanne sale, so it's a clearance sale. Um, I have that in another video and I can show you what the discount was. Um, I'm going to talk about, I have a, I have a whole page, whole notebook <laughs> of notes. I have some tips and tricks on how to shop. I have what to look for and I have a couple items that I think might be in the Cezanne archives. I've talked to a couple other Cezanne addicts and we were talking about what's probably going to show up in the next Cezanne archives which is in January. So if you're here to find out more about that, um, hopefully I can help you out. This, yeah, this, the discount is amazing. Cezanne doesn't do discounts normally. And so when their stuff goes on sale, which is only twice a year, people go bananas over it. And the stuff is amazing and getting it at a discount is amazing. I got this purse. Um, it was $240 normally and I got it for $190. I, this top that I have, which is absolutely beautiful, and it has, I have to show you the back of it because it's absolutely stunning. It has this open back. And it was originally $120. I got it for $95. Um, while we're on the train, I got this necklace that's normally $65. This is all in USD, by the way. And I got it for $50. And then I got this dress, which was $195 normally, and I got it for $155. So, Really good, really good discounts um, and definitely worth it because they don't go on sale that often. So how they work. I'm going to split this into a couple sections. I'm going to do what are the archives, how they work, um, what the discount is, what I got, which I showed you, and basically how to shop for it next year. So as I was talking about, the items that are put away for the archives are items that don't work with seasonal so they aren't going to bring their summer stuff into the fall collection which starts in September and then what they also do is they update their stuff so if you look back if you look at the archives um, you'll see earlier versions of their items and what I'm going to show you is the Henry bag which was in their archives I'll, sh I'll have a little picture right here and it looks very similar to the Claude so the Claude is something that they sell currently right now it's what's um, their normal stock and you can see that it's an inspiration from that. So come September, the Hope Bag, the Ernest, the Dean and the Tiger Bag are all going to be discontinued as they currently are. And they say that they are gonna get a makeover. So as they currently are, they might show up in the archives in January or next July, but it's definitely something to keep an eye on um, and think about if that's something that you wanna purchase. And it's also actually really exciting to see how they're gonna get a makeover because Cezanne is really lovely in that they work with what they have and they improve it. So I think that's an amazing way to um, improve on design and make your customers happy. The Cezanne Archives are released two Wednesdays in a row. If you've never shopped Cezanne before, what they do is on Wednesday mornings, 10 a.m. their time, which is, um, I'm in Canada, I'm in Ontario. It's 4 a.m. my time, which I've been up for for their releases. They release everything that's new. They do their restocks and they do a bunch of other things. It's always on Wednesday morning. That just seems to be um, their thing, which is funny because I feel like half the people are at work, so I'm not sure how they manage that. Um, but uh, the Cezanne Archives Part 1, they like, like to do things in parts. So Part 1 was released on a Wednesday, and the Part 2 was released on the following Wednesday. So it was either returns or um, just extra stock, and there were some different items, so I'm not really sure how they divide that up. They also had different stock for Europe and the United States. Mm -hmm. Um, cause there's this one gorgeous blouse that I wanted, the neon blouse. I have it in white and they had it in red in France <laughs> and I couldn't buy it. It just wasn't available for me to purchase. So super sad about that. I'm not sure what makes them decide on what's in each other's, like each country's stock, but that's how they work it. But it's also something to keep in mind in case you are going to Europe or you have someone in the States and they can purchase something for you and, or you can send it to them. So Keep that in mind. Um, I'll talk more about that later because it's a little tricky with how to shop online and switching between the countries. You'll see linked in the top. Okay, I already showed you what I got. And the average discount seems to be around $60. So I'm gonna have, let me let me move over for you. So right here I have, I'm gonna have a screen recording of me just shopping through the archives. You'll see a lot of it is sold out, but this is from my phone and I'm gonna go as slow as possible, see how this works. It's, it's, it's like scrolling, so it's not like this really lovely smooth thing, so pardon the, pardon how it moves. Um, but I just think it's really valuable for you to see what the discount is, what is there, and you get a better sense of what's gonna come up. 
Um, so the average discount, like I said, is about $60, but it ranges from $10 off, which isn't a big deal, to like hundreds of dollars off. So the things that were the biggest discount were the biggest ticket items. So it's like bags, um, shoes, and coats. So the coats were at least around $150 off of like a nice trench. And I have to speak, if you don't know much about the Cezanne quality, it is amazing. So I think it's a great value for your money. Um, and I think it's definitely worth testing it out. If you are in the States, I'm in Canada, so I have, I have to work hard to get <laughs> my Cezanne because we get charged really high duty. But if you are in the United States, you get free returns um, and free shipping over $200, I believe it is. So um, try it out. Check it out and uh, send it back if you don't like it. But I think you will really love it. So anyway, I'll let this keep scrolling. And now I'm going to talk about how they organize the sale. So what they do is they, on the desktop and on mobile, they do two for different things. So I like to shop on desktop because I'm old school and I have old eyes. <laughs> I just want to see the detail. I feel like I can't see everything on my phone. But on desktop, they divide things by size. And on mobile, which is what you see here, um, they just like do the tops and the, like the regular category items which is how they normally organize their stuff so you're not exactly sure what sizes everything is in so um honestly i would definitely try looking at the, all the stock both ways i think it's really good to prepare so because i've been shopping from four days on for a year i know i have an idea of what they're gonna sell like i recognize this blouse from last year i'm so happy i have it along with that um necklace this I've been wanting and it was actually in stock at the New York location when I was there in October. So their stuff can like, it, it does range like what they have on it, but it's such good deals and it's really exciting to see some of these items that you love go for sale. So um, some of the things that I think are going to be on sale are the Isaac blouse. I was talking to someone else about this. So this is one of my most favorite blouses and I'll see if I have a picture. I'll def I definitely have a picture of me in this. Um, and it is so beautiful and shimmery and has gold and silver in it. I got this when I was in Paris in December last year. So I think everything from like December to like February, so winter is going to be, last year is going to be on, on sale. This is from, I think September or October. If you look back in the lookbooks, I have as many lookbooks as I can find linked below so you can look at what might be on like might be for sale um but otherwise we think that isaac is going to be uh, included in the archives this year i think it's going to be included hopefully in like the red print i highly recommend this blouse i would size down in it i am a size 36 french which is a size four and what they do is they have a sizing tab on Cezanne that recommends if you should size up or down. And this top, I'm a size 38 French. So it ranges between like three different sizes and I would size down in this. It does still work for me. So if you do find it in this, like a bigger size, I think it's gonna be gorgeous. Um, and then another thing I got, I got this one in February is the Maggie. And this is one of my most worn tops. I absolutely love this blouse. I'm gonna have another video with all my blouses, because I've been doing collection videos with my t-shirts, accessories. Um, I have one coming up with my dresses and my blouses, so you'll see everything on, and I'll link those below, and you can just search within my channel. But um, this is the Maggie blouse, and I think it's cotton. Let me double check. It came in uh, also a white, which I think is absolutely beautiful. 100% cotton. Very wearable, very flattering. I would also size down in this. I'm a 36 in this, so I'd go down to a 34. But again, the 36, like it, even though it's a little bit big um, on me, I still love it. I have really sloped shoulders. Like you can see that this shoulder seam is pretty far out, um, but the back fits on this nicely for me. So what I would do is I would just study and prepare and look at, um, I'm so serious about this, I just put my glasses on, but I would just look at some of the past collections and what has been released and figure out what you would like to do. If you've been shopping Cezanne for a while, you kind of have an idea and you can search by style name. I think that's the fastest way to get what your item, um, whatever item you want. Um, yeah, if you want the Isaac, it's I-Z-A-A-C, the Maggie is M-A-G-G-Y, and yeah, just have fun searching in the lookbooks below. Um, I'll, hopefully a lot of the style names are there. 
Yeah. And like I said, it's going to be in January, so I think if you know well enough ahead, you can save up for it. I really like to think about my purchases beforehand, so I'm going to be that person pouring over old lookbooks and just trying to decide on what to get. Again, I would love this in a different print. I think this is one of my favorite blouses. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And I think that's it. I hope that was helpful for you. I hope you got a lot from the video I had here and um, I hope that you get what you want from the archives next time. If you have any questions, please let me know below. Again, I'm going to have everything I talked about linked in the notes below, including my other video, which has the try on of all of these items so you can get a better sense of their clothing in general. And yeah, have a good day. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more.